On behalf of Roy Waldron Elementary, this is Michelle Huddy with this year's Spring Planning Meeting Slideshow. Thank you so much in advance for taking the time to view this slideshow and to give us valuable feedback afterwards. I'd like to begin by explaining the purpose of today's Spring Planning Meeting and Slideshow. Our main goal is to bring together those who have the greatest stake in the welfare of our students. That's including parents, family members, administrators, teachers, and our community representatives to ensure that our federal funds are spent in a way that promotes academic success for all students. The information discussed today and any decisions made are our first steps in creating our school improvement plan and our budget for the upcoming 2021-2022 school year. This planning process helps to ensure that federal funds are spent in a way that helps guarantee success for all students. Before we get into specifics, I feel like it's important to go over what a Title I school-wide program is. So Title I is a federally funded program. The funds that we receive each year are based on the number of our students receiving free and reduced lunch. Those funds that are given to Roy Waldron are used to benefit the whole school. And these funds are supplemental and must be spent in accordance with federal guidelines. So what does a successful school-wide program look like? What are we aiming to do with this funding? Some things that we achieve to accomplish are working to attract highly qualified and the very best teachers. We provide teachers with high quality training throughout the year. We aim to increase parent and family involvement, improve student achievement, and we are gonna monitor that student data regularly. We want to implement new strategies to consistently improve our instruction. We want to assist our incoming and outgoing students with positive transitions. We want to consider the needs and suggestions of our community during decision-making processes, this being one of those. And we want to coordinate federal, state, and local services so that all of the different funding pools can be used together to create a very successful school. So how do we know if our strategies are working and we're on our way to achieving our goals? We have four ways that we're gonna talk about specifically on this slide. The first is EasyCBM. This is our universal screener and it screens all students on basic reading and math skills. It's used to progress monitor students receiving tiered interventions as well. iReady Math is what we use to screen all students three times a year in addition to ongoing online instruction and assessments throughout the year. TCAP or 10 Ready is our state assessment that we give at the end of each school year. And then our common formative assessments are used to assess students' mastery of the grade level standards and essential skills throughout the school year. We're gonna look at some specific data now in some of those different areas. Our easy CBM reading data when looking at that data so far for this current school year, at the top, we have passage reading fluency. Our students are asked to do a one minute timed read and that data gives us lots of useful information. According to our data that we have so far this year, one of our goals is to focus on students below the 10th percentile and students above the 90th percentile so that they can continue to show growth. The bottom graphs are our comprehension data. And so some things that we've learned from this data is that second grade students showed growth in moving students from tier two to tier one, while our third and fourth grade students were able to show growth in the students performing above the 90th percentile. According to our iReady math data, we were made aware that we were successful at decreasing the number of students in the tier three range by 8% and this data is from our fall to our winter benchmark. An opportunity for growth would be for us to increase the number of students in our tier one range. And lastly, according to our most recent 10 Ready and TVAS data, a couple areas of success for us is that third grade math had a growth index of 4.96, making them a level five. Fourth grade ELA had a growth index of 2.42, making them a level five. And a couple areas that we need to show some improvement 
Our third and fourth grade math showed growth, but not as much as in the previous year. And fifth grade ELA had shown a growth index of negative 1.2, making them a level two. So those are a couple of areas that we're focusing on. If you have any more specific questions about any of this data, feel free to contact us at the school and we're more than happy to go through that with you. So knowing our data and where we want to go, we use that data to set some priority goals from our school improvement plan every year. Our four priority goals this year on the school improvement plan were ELA growth and achievement, math growth and achievement. We aim to ensure that all students receive a well-rounded education and the opportunity to learn. And lastly, RWS will recruit, retain, and train effective teachers and building leaders to support our growing and diverse student population. The next step in the process is we take our Title I funds and we prioritize those funds based on our goals in our school improvement plan. So this year, the way we prioritized our funding was we spent 74% of the funds on personnel, we spent 1% of the funds on staff development and subs, 9% was spent on instructional materials and programs, 12% on technology equipment, and 1% on parent engagement. On the following slides, we're gonna look at specific ways that the funds were spent in each of those areas. As you can see, the biggest chunk of our funding was spent on personnel. These are all of our academic interventionists, our behavior interventionists, and our instructional coaches at Roy Waldron School. Of all of these adults, two of the instructional coaches were funded with Title I funds, six of the academic interventionists were funded with Title I funds, and our one behavior interventionist was as well. When looking at the Title I personnel that's funded, we wanted to give you a breakdown of their responsibilities, a little snapshot of what all of these people do for us. Those before mentioned adults serve 63 intervention groups, and that makes 286 individual student interventions, the planning and instruction, the progress monitoring, the communication of data with family, teachers, and the data team, and the fidelity checks and follow-ups that go with each of those student interventions. We provided five professional developments this year, two family engagement events. We supported 13 novice or new to teaching teachers. We had 328 PLC meetings and we led six RTI data team meetings. Another use of funds this year were our instructional materials and programs. And here are a few ways that we spent those funds. We purchased Orton Gillingham materials and interactive OG. We purchased EL, which is our new reading curriculum and the recommended book sets and other supporting materials for that program's implementation. We purchased math and practice books for our teachers. We purchased reading A to Z, iReady reading, and Imagine Learning licenses for our school, math instructional materials and resources, Bridges intervention programs, magnetic whiteboards and letters, math stackers, and resource mate, just to name a few. Another big way that we spent our funds this year was on technology and equipment. We were able to purchase 51 ViewSonic boards for classrooms in our main building. We also purchased two replacement docu document cameras as well. Our two parent engagement activities that we have planned for this year are coming up soon and we're so excited about these. We have a virtual family math night that we're going to be sharing information about this week that's going to be happening in the next two weeks. And then we're also going to be having an end of the year virtual family literacy game night. We'll be doing some transition to kindergarten and sixth grade as well for our transitioning students. So be on the lookout for some of that information coming home very soon. Another thing that we've done this year is done some family surveys. We like to keep a, a gauge on how our families are feeling and how we can serve them even better. So based on our most recent family survey, here's some of the feedback that we got. 89% of families feel welcomed at Roy Waldron. 93% of families feel connected with their child's teacher. 95% feel that the school provides a safe place for their child to learn. 
89% felt that Roy Waldron encourages families to be involved, and another 89% felt that Roy Waldron informs families of their child's progress and success. Some suggestions for next year that we got from staff and for parents are listed below. I'm going to go through those with you. So staffing felt that the best use of funds this year were with staffing, instructional materials and supplies, and technology. Their suggestions for next year are additional staffing, replacement technology, instructional materials and programs, and additional family engagement opportunities. Parent suggestions and feedback are as follows. They felt like suggestions for next year would be teacher correspondence via class dojo and email are their preferred methods of communication. Parents requested family engagement events. And then academic standards and helping my child with learning from home are the most requested topics for those parent engagement events. Thank you so much again for participating in the PowerPoint and the slideshow for the spring planning meeting this year. You'll be receiving another message with a short survey. If you could please help us to prioritize our funds for next year by completing that survey, we would be very appreciative. We truly do appreciate and value all of your input. If you have any questions, comments, or would like some more clarification, please feel free to reach out and contact us at school. We're more than happy to talk with you whenever we can. Thanks again.